Hey Hockey YouTube, which will have this game up on there, uh, hopefully, hopefully by uh, either uh, tomorrow or the next day. So that would be nice. And uh, UK Hockey official Facebook page, I believe Akron does have one as well, correct? Um, and also, don't forget, uh, don't forget to follow Zips Hockey on Twitter at Akron Ice Hockey and uh, get all your Zips updates. There you go. And uh, Zips home opener next week, right? Yep, October 7th against uh, West Virginia. There you go. And uh, Northwest Canton. All right, third period of action beginning right here. Looking for the long pass up. Here's Rohar, not able to get into the zone. Finally trickles in. Here's Bernie, now play back out. Rohar gets it over. Shot saved. Puck still alive. And finally covered up, and we'll have a faceoff. A lot of shots there to uh, begin the third period of action. Max Miller probably took about two or three right off the bat. Yeah. Face off one by the Cats, top of the zone. Try to wrap it around the glass. They'll get it down to McLaughlin. Jurish trying to throw it back out, Kentucky. Kept it, kept it in there. Finally cleared out of the zone. Cats poking back in, now here comes Akron the other way, they'll sweep it around the boards. Glass looks to clear, he gets it up to McLaughlin. Move back up, here's McLaughlin again in the circle. Fires one, that's gonna hit the ceiling and go out of play and debris falling to the ice. Yeah, as we were talking about Max Miller, uh, he's only a freshman, but you know he plays with the junior or senior potential. He, he's a great goaltender. Uh, <laughs> very, very, uh, early in his career here and uh, he's making an impact and they're having to clear out the uh, clear out the debris that has uh, landed on the ice from the puck yeah Max Miller you know shown a lot of potential he is a freshman you know you know barring nothing nothing happens to him or he decides to leave or anything like that that's you know he's gonna be a great great asset yeah. for the Zips Hockey Club. Now Cats trying to move it up here. Here comes Getz. Getz moving in. Looking for the centering pass. Just a little too hard to Graham. Still kept in the zone. Cats need to be a little bit more aware, but Graham... And they're gonna call it. Graham goes in for a hook and he knows. I think he said an, an explicative that we uh, probably shouldn't mention up yeah. here. So went straight to the box, though. So. Yeah, he knew he knew he was guilty. <laughs> when you drop that explicative and you just throw your head back out, you yep. know you messed up. Yep. So opportunity here for the Zips here in the third period. Let's see what they can do. Hooking was the call to Danny Graham. 18.55 remaining on the penalty. And they're going to bring it out of the zone. Cats moving up here. Smart play there from Salomon. You, you, as he was uh, pursuing the puck, you saw him look back and see where all of his, yeah. all of his defenders were. Very smart play. And that actually comes out of play there. Hit the part between the glass where the glass meets the board. And, uh, right, right. Hit the little partition there. Yeah. Which in most rinks you would typically see those boards reach out through about the bench. Yeah. Surprising that it's not like that around here, but. Yeah, like we uh, saw that earlier, uh, that when he hit him over the boards, there would be glass there, but, uh, you know, he went straight over that. Exactly. Very elongated benches here at the rink. Looking to fire shot on. Does so. Gets into traffic, though. Penalty coming up as Akron touches up. And I don't know who's going out. I didn't see who the penalty's on. Uh, number 12. That will be. Uh, non existent. Non existent again. 
So number seven and number 12, we have no clue who they are. Com <laughs> confirm these for me uh, tomorrow night, please, yes, sir. Yes, I will. <laughs> that way we'll be okay and ready to go. Face off one by the Zips. We're four side hockey here for the next minute eight. Trying to move a puck along. Zips come up with it. Setting it up is Revac. Long pass up. Kentucky able to poke it away. Now coming in, here's Sterrell. He fires one on. Looking for the hat trick there. Cats have them some uh, room to move here. Puck back out to the point. Crossed over. Trying to sweep it in there. Sails wide, and that's going to go the length, almost the length of the ice back the other way. Here's Hubbard. Hubbard sent up. Here come the Cats. Puts on on, well, puts on the side of the net, does Salomon. Not really the best angle to take a shot at. Somehow Hubbard, or uh, Rohar did it earlier. Trying to sweep that up to Whitman, but uh, Whitman was out of position, it looked like. Here's Salomon again. Salomon in behind the net here. A lot of pressure being put on. Drops it back to Whitman. Cats at full strength. Got a power play shot. I don't think Miller saw that one. I don't think he did either. It hit his leg, though. Salomon shoots, saves. Another shot. That goes right into traffic. Here comes Sterl again. He'll hold up and wrap it around. Smart play there. Oh, that takes a weird carom here at the ice center. Actually came off the side of the net. And it'll go up in the air and uh, knocks it down, passes it up. They're saying it hit something, but they didn't see it. Turnover. Some pressure in behind the net here. Akron at full strength, shot, puck still live, and Whitman not able to hold on to it. Comes off his toe. Oh, it hit him. Bougie goes down. I'm well. Aggressive play there, but uh, you really can't call anything on yeah. that because Bougie was right making a, well. He was making himself a part of the play. Yeah. So. And there was a player right behind him. So. A lot of factors on yeah. that one. Shot saved, and Bougie will swallow that one in his pads. We'll have a face off to the right hand side of uh, Bushi. 15 17 remaining. We're back to five aside hockey here at the Lexington Ice Center. Now, played up, puck is uh, deep here. Cats moving along. Swept away from Akron, though. Barnes seen some action out there for the Cats. Now Schmidt, Schmidt up to Ip now. Ip will send that one up. Shot, that sails completely wide. That one goes uh, between the legs of Bodenheimer there, and he wasn't able to corral that one. Cats trying to move it out of the zone. They do so. They got to keep an eye on. I don't think so because they had an opportunity to move that in. Akron will play it out of the zone. That was Scott. Here's Scott again. Gets out on the ice for Kentucky. Scott with pressure taking him off. Back and forth action here at the Lexington Ice Center. Puck top of the zone. Cats trying to move it up. Getting ground one shot. Well, Graham was looking for a shot. We do have a penalty coming up. It's going to be a trip. Going to be a trip, and we'll have... I think Graham's going in now, too. Well. Trying 
trips the call. Graham goes in for a rough, so whatever opportunity Kentucky had there, they just yeah. negated a power play opportunity, so. Yeah, and it, it all comes back to self-discipline. So we're gonna be four side hockey here. With uh, 13 minutes and 48 seconds left in the third period, still tied 2-2. Gats kicked out. Whitman in to take the face off against Revac. Face off won by the Cats. Hard pass there. Here's Gats in behind the net. Gats will throw it back out to the point. Crossed over. Trying to get it on in was Whitman looking for the deflection. Here's Hubbard. He tries to put one in, and Whitman looked for the deflection gear. Nice save there from Miller. Whitman back out to the point. Shot from the slot, that actually hits Getz there. Another shot, nice save there for Miller. He lost it though. That. Miller had no clue where that one went. I think he was happy that he got a piece of it. Yeah. Turnover, Akron with an opportunity. No, Kentucky able to break it up. Swept back around. Now will be sent over to Hubbard. Hubbard looking for the long pass up. Cats go. moving up on a breakaway. Shoot, scores! Whitman! Give the assist to Hubbard there, and Kentucky makes this one three to two, and we're still four on four. Job well done there by the Cats. Hubbard on the nice breakout pass. Whitman got past the defense, and just like that, it was a breakaway opportunity. So Akron's back's up against the wall here. And it all comes down to speed. UK is just using their speed. Cats moving through again here. Puck in behind the net. Here's Whitman trying to center it back out the glass. Or check that, that's Schmidt. Schmidt tries to throw it back out front. It, it does exit the zone. Cats looking to set it up here. 33 seconds remaining in the matching penalties. Moving on up, here comes Akron again. Shot, that one takes a weird bounce as it comes off a stick from the shot from Burke there. Looking for the pass up again. In behind the net, trying to sweep one through was McLaughlin. Whitman comes up with a check. I don't know if that really was a check or not, or they just kind of collided. Yeah. Glass not able to put one on net. He gets tied up. Shot, that sails wide. Akron touches up, penalties coming here. Holding is the call. 24 for UK and number 22 getting into it. That's that's Bodenheimer and uh, oh uh, Wiley again. Yeah, Wiley. So Wiley goes to the box again. I say before you know it, this these uh, officials are going to start sending them off. Yeah. They will start sending them off if they're not careful. Eleven thirty-eight remaining. Penalty goes up on the board for Scott. He gets called on the hold. I think the others are just going to be sent off for matching. Yeah, that it will. So Cats with a power play opportunity here. So it's Boden, Bodenheimer and Wiley. 